I'll do a little Gets video on a real Maxim PowerPoint Charge Controller, in this case a BG Products MPPT250 as the big inductor, which is factory, as it should be in this one, because again this is a real Maxim PowerPoint Charge Controller, which actually works. Um, that is the master inductor for the um, uh, buck converter, since like most Maxim PowerPoint Charge Controllers or Maxim PowerPoint uh, tracking charge controllers, uh, it's um, it's a uh, buck topology. Uh, there are very rare circumstances where you might want to boost topology or buck boost, but those are fairly rare. And where they actually make sense is a very, very, very tiny portion of the charge controller market. So this, like almost all Maxim PowerPoint charge controllers, is um, is a uh, is a buck converter uh, base. I have heard of uh, uh, solar converters. They do make a 10 ampere um, boost converter, but that's intended for charging a 36 volt um, a golf cart off of a uh, uh, off of a um, 12 volt nominal uh, photovoltaic module or um, array. But anyways. Uh, then there's a electrolytic capacitor wired across the photovoltaic supply or photovoltaic input little battery flow potential adjustment to uh, potentiometer there and uh, terminal block which is for a low potential disconnect uh, that's for the neutrals that are on the potential potential disconnect but protected they all go into that and uh, the auxiliary battery charge that provides up to 13.8 volts DC at up to uh, a tenth of an amp here for charging auxiliary battery because this is intended for the RV market and so what you do is you have that going to your engine battery so that if you're parked for days at a time it keeps the engine battery tapped up then there's battery neutral battery hot photovoltaic neutral and photovoltaic hot and then over on the other side of the device the uh, this these three are the main um, power components in it, which is why they'd ordinarily be mounted to the front cover, although it would be inside with little thermal pads. Um, uh, starting from the bottom, this one right here is a um, IRF 540 International Rectifier and Channel MOSFET. That is intended for the, um, uh, that is the low potential disconnect shutoff MOSFET. Uh, MOSFET. Then a, um, forget what that logo is, but it's an MBR245, it's an MBR2545 CT uh, dual shot key rectifier. Uh, both uh, rectifiers in, t in it uh, being wired in parallel. And then an international rectifier, IRF3710Z. That is the actual main uh, switching MOSFET for the uh, for the uh, buck converter. Then there's this little black thing, which, unlike in the wealthy piece of crap where it was just a five, five, custom package 555 oscillator being used as a MOSFET driver, really, uh, that is an actual relay. It's um, as far as I can tell that some portion of the charging circuit. That activates when there's a very low charge current. Because um, in this one, uh, what, since the system doesn't get used all that much and the system's always floating, you can hear the thing clicking all, all the time when it's uh, floating, but anyways. Um, then there are... Uh, and starting with the... Um, integrated circuits on the on the board there's a um, LMC it's a 6484 uh, quad operational amplifier that's that um, 14 pin uh, dual inline package device right there then there is a uh, LMC 7660 made by National Semiconductor as is the quad operational amplifier that is the um, that is a potential inverting uh, charge pump driver, and that's most likely what those two capacitors are for.
since that's how a charge pump works, you just switch capacitors. And there, and the last of the uh, little dip eight devices is a uh, IRS two one eight three um, uh, uh, half bridge with integrated driver. Then there's this ch chip with a little sticker. In this case, that sticker normally means that it's been programmed already. And in that ca and in, and this particular one is a PIC16 F88. So that is the master controller that drives the um, device. There is another uh, uh, DIP40 device under the liquid crystal display, but because I can't easily get the DIP the uh, display off without breaking it. I don't know exactly what that is, but that is the uh, display driver. Then there are some various um, trimmers and stuff for stuff that's a that's uh, for factory calibration and uh, pair of indicator LEDs, the float and uh, low potential disconnect on, which means that the lo the loads protected by it are on. That's the two LEDs there. And the switch, which tells whether or not the display is, is uh, displaying the battery potential or charge current. Uh, then there are a pair of uh, little 5% tolerance power resistors there. Most likely sensing of some sort. And this little black thing, which is the uh, rated, which is a um, metal oxide varistor for... Uh, Surge control, although judging by the size, wouldn't expect it to do much, but for the stuff that I have, I've already got much more substantial uh, surge control like these, which are capacitors and uh, avalanche diodes. These are primarily intended, though, for, for um, shunting an electromagnetic pulse, although I don't know how effective that would be, but that's stuff that I'll probably cover in another video. Uh, and anyways, and plus if it's lightning, I have disconnect switches here with the specific purpose of disconnecting the array so that the system's entirely isolated from stuff outside in the event of a thunderstorm. But then again, that's just proper design practice. Um, then there's uh, not much to it aside from a bunch of other miscellaneous passives and whatnot. And then this cord, which is for a, um, a current sensor. Well, sealed up in some uh, shrink tubing. Don't know precisely what it is, but from the feel, it uh, probably just the thermistor in there, which is one of the things that the operational amplifier covers. Probably the one of the other ones is the sensing for the current. Because this one, I uh, don't see any Hall Effect devices. So that's most likely just for current sensing. That could be what that uh, wire is for. Is that just simply the uh, shunt resistor? Because it is 16 gauge, which is a bit lower than what you'd expect. It was a bit smaller than what you'd expect for the rated current of 25 amperes. But uh, I don't know, I didn't design it. Problem is that also the uh, Paul effect stuff at the uh, uh, sc at the scale of what this is like anything under 50 amperes, uh, they only make them in surface mount. So Allegro Microsystems, if one of your engineers is watching this, or one of your guys in charge of your device production, there's a whole lot of people out there who would really like it if your ACS 12 slash ACS 713 ACS 712 slash ACS 713 were made in uh, DIP 8 packaging. So, but anyways, that's uh, what little annoyance over the stupid fad of a surface mount. Because if you've ever had to work on stuff, uh, stuff like this, which is all uh, through a hole, is a lot easier. Because having had to solder SOIC8 package devices without the proper, equi proper equipment is not fun. And I've known guys who've had to solder SOT23s. Which is even more not fun because those are even more tiny. So yeah. But that's pretty much a real maximum power and charge controller. 